So on my channel, I have a short section that I've been just experimenting with a bunch of different animations. And one of them is this crazy character um, that I created in ZBrush. And I wanted to show you uh, what he looks like in Maya. So here's my character in Maya. And um, I wanted to show you the setup that I have. So I have the uh, background and it's kind of a simple background, just really to create some kind of a interesting, um, you know, texture and also have some shadows uh, for my character. And in this video, what I would like to do is I want to add some blinking to him. So right now he's totally rigged. Um, if I turn on the joints, you can see that everything is set up. If I go to human IK and turn on my controllers, you can see that he's, um, he's completely rigged and ready for animation. And he even has some animations uh, applied to him right now that I was just playing around with. And the thing that I would like to add to him is um, blinking eyes. If I'm going to do this in my 2022, I might as well uh, make a little video on how I would do that. So to approach this, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use blend shapes. So what I would like to do uh, for my character is I'm going to actually select his uh, glasses and put them on a different layer, maybe hide them. And I also don't need to see the joins and the controller. So I'm going to turn all that off and now I'm going to select just the mesh, the skin for this guy. And I'm going to head over to animation, windows, animation editors, and then go to shape editor. So as you can see uh, right now, I do have a couple morph targets set up and I have this thing that uh, does the wide eyes or uh, squinty eyes, but I really need a blinking. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one down the wide eyes and I'm going to simply uh, in my current uh, blend shape, uh, I'm going to add a target. So I'm going to select my main one, which is this one, right? The reason, so for example, if I select my shape and do create a blend shape, it's going to create kind of a different set. You can see that here. I don't want that. I actually want to create a blend shape under this uh, kind of a more set, right? So I already have one going. So instead of pre pressing this one, I'm going to add a target. And this target, I'm going to call it uh, blinking. And I'm not going to do one eye at a time. I'm just kind of doing uh, just a quick exercise. So I'm going to do both of them at the same time. So my edit is already on. And the only thing I need to do now is just simply move my geometry uh, into position to create the blinking, right? So I'm going to do that uh, now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to turn on my symmetry on. So it's on both sides. And using my soft select, let's go ahead and turn soft select on. I'm going to leave it on surface because I want to make sure it's only affecting the skin and not the eye, right? And I'm just going to very slowly going to pull this up and maybe pull this one up and sort of do the same thing on the top lid as well, just kind of bring them down and just maybe grab just the middle one and bring it down. And now I'm going to switch to verts mode and maybe do the same thing. Just kind of close them, close them a little bit. So it's very simple, right? Just simply adjusting the shape to what I want it to be. So this is going to be my blink. All right, so I'm going to go into object mode and let's see what that looks like. If I drag my new slider, you can see my eye is now blinking. So I can do two things, right? I can blink my eye and I can also control kind of if I want to have the eye a little wider. And some of them you can even blend together, right? So make sure uh, you can do multiple uh, controllers for each one. So I can do this one about halfway and then I can start to blink. Maybe there's an attitude or some sort of a, you know, he's kind of sneaky. He's like, oh, you know, 
having a facial expression. So the cool thing about uh, blend shapes is that you can mix them together. And um, I wanted to show you that and show you how simple and fun it is to add more targets. I know that uh, typically the uh, if you learn this uh, in other places, a lot of times they tell you to create separate targets. So make a duplicate of this mesh and uh, then uh, use that to, to do morphs. You know, if, especially if you bring it from like ZBrush or something, right? You want to create multiple targets. So you can have, usually you have a character here and then you have, uh, you know, a hundred different face facial expressions. And then each facial expression is then, is used as a target for the blend shape. But in my case, I wanted to show you a more simple way, kind of a more efficient way, where you can just literally use just one and do some molding and shaping right in Maya. And you can even use the sculpting tools to create different expressions. All right, so now since I have my uh, blinking, if I wanted to actually animate this, I'm gonna, um, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna uh, drag my uh, wide eyes down and I just wanna execute the blinking. So what is that? How do, how do we do that? How do we actually animate it? Well, to animate it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of the edit mode because I'm done adjusting my mesh or sculpting. And now what I could do is on the first keyframe, for example, I can set a key, right? So I'm going to say set a key and then go to maybe keyframe four. And on here, I'm going to set another key and actually drag the blink up. Then go back to maybe frame seven set another key and now bring it back down. So now from one to seven, he's actually going to blink. You can see that here. And the uh, only odd thing is, uh, especially in the beginning when you're playing around with blend shapes, it's a little bit different than joints. You uh, will quickly realize if you have a lot of these that there's no keyframes. You can't see where's my keyframes. How do I move them or adjust them? Well, to do that, you actually need to select the mesh itself and then in the um, channel box if you click on the skin which is in my case it's called uh, Johnny right that's the name of this mesh um, you can see my keyframes so these are my blend shape keyframes that I just set up for so I know that four is the eyes closed one the eye open if I wanted to move these around I can hold on the shift key and click and I can adjust the position of this I can also uh, hold down shift and drag the whole selection and scale them to change the timing. Maybe I want them a little slower, a little faster. So that's uh, that's how you control the targets and the timing. All right, so maybe uh, that will help you in whatever you're doing. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.